Hello everyone, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. Today, we are going to find the quotient that is the number of times the divisor goes into a dividend as well as the remainder without dividing in C++. But as usual, we are first going to write the algorithm and then we'll use the algorithm to model our code in C++. So, let's simplify. Without using the division symbol, divide a computer solution that can be used to find the number of times M goes into N as well as the remainder. The values of m and n will be read as inputs to the algorithm. We are going to ask the user to input n and m, which is the dividends in the divider. So we say input n and input m. Now, we are going to store a copy of the user's dividend, which is n, in a new variable called new n. So we say new n equals n. As we go along, I will explain why we are saving a copy of the dividend n in the new variable new n. Again, since we are going to find the number of times the divisor m goes into n, we are going to create an empty variable that will store the number of times m goes into n. So we say counter equals zero. Now, the idea we are going to use in solving this problem is that we are going to keep on subtracting m from n until we get 0 or a number less than m. So we say while n minus m is greater than or equal to 0, n minus equals m, that is subtract m from n, counter plus plus. That is, any time you subtract m from n, increase counter by 1. Then now, n while. Now, by the time this while loop ends, or by the end of the while loop, the value of n will be the remainder. So we say, remainder equals n. Now, we can print. So we say, Print m goes into new n counter times. m is the divisor. New n is the new dividend. Because the initial dividend n has been reduced to the remainder, that is why in the beginning we first saved a copy of the n in new n. So new n is now the, uh, the, the dividend. And then counter will hold the number of times we subtracted m from n. Then from here, we can print our remainder as well. Now, let's visualize how this while loop actually works and how n becomes the remainder at the end of the loop. In our visualization, let's take n to be 11 and m to be 5. From there, we say let's save a copy of n, which is 11, in new n. So we say new n equals 11 and then counter equals 0 which is counter is empty now the condition to enter the while loop is that n minus m is greater than or equal to 0 so since n minus m equals 6 that is 11 minus 5 equals 6 we can enter the loop for the first time and run the block of codes now in the while loop we say n minus equals m, that is subtract m from n, which is n equals 11 minus 5, which gives us 6. Next, counter plus plus. That is, whatever value is in counter, increase it by 1. Since counter is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, that is counter is now equal to 1. And from there, n while. At the end of the while loop, or at the end of running this loop for the first time, n equals 6 and counter is 1. The condition to enter the while loop is that n minus m is greater than or equal to 0. Since n is 6, and 6 minus 5 is 1, which is greater than 0, we can enter the while loop and run the block of code for the second time. Now inside the loop, n minus equals m. So 
n which is now 6 so you see n equals 6 minus 5 which gives us 1 remember n is 6 from the first loop then counter plus plus remember counter was 1 from the first loop so 1 plus 1 gives counter to be 2 so counter equals 2 then n while after running the loop for the second time n equals 1 and counter is 2 the condition to enter the while loop is that n minus m is greater than or equal to 0 from the second loop n equals 1 so n equals 1 minus 5 will give us a value that is less than 0 so we can't enter this loop no more so we jump here and say remainder equals n so the remainder equals n and n is 1 so the remainder equals 1 then from there we print m goes into a new n counter time that is 5 goes into 11 two times and the remainder is 1 which is true so that's it for the algorithm now let's take a look at our code in c++ but before then i will encourage you to pause the video give it a like and subscribe now to our code c++ so in my int main function i declared n m remainder new n as double and then I also declared counter as an integer and I initialized it to be zero, that is to be empty. Then I say see out n must be greater than m, end line. That is, it should display to the user that the dividend must be greater than the divisor, that is, n must be greater than m, and then end line. So see out end line again, so you should move to the next line and then see out enter n in strings as a string, so in quotation marks. So you should display to the user that the user should enter n, then see in n. The user should enter the value of n and then see out enter m as a string in quotation marks. So the user should, it should display to the user that enter m and then see in m. The user should enter the value of m. And then next, I'm saying that the value the user will enter for n, we should save a copy of the n in new n. So we say new n equals n. Here, I'm going to set my while loop. The condition being that n minus m is greater than or equal to zero then n minus equals m that is subtract m from n and counter plus plus that is anytime you subtract m from n increase counter by one now I end my while loop with curly braces then now outside this while loop i say remainder equals n that is after the loop the value of n should be the remainder i say see out end line move to the next line and then see out m goes into new n counter times so print the value of m and then as a string print goes into and then print the value of new n and then print the value of counter and then print times as a string then move to the next line end line then on the next line print remainder as a string and then attach the value of remainder to the remainder so you see see out remainder remainder and it says system pause is greater than zero this will ensure that only the information we need Will be displayed when we run our code and then it says return zero by custom so now i'm going to input values for n and m that's the divisor and the dividend and then we are going to see how our code will run it says n must be greater than m enter n so i entered 60 enter m so i entered 11 and on pressing enter it says 11 goes into 60 five times and the remainder is five which is correct so our code is running properly. Alright guys, that's for this video. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Till then, apart ya!